beautiful souls. This is Edna J. White. And I have seven minutes to give you the information I need to give you for um, Friday, which is the 11th, for our breakthrough number one strategy, strategy for personal change for yourself and for others. Now, I did ask a few questions pre the event but I wanted to give you an answer to a question that you all answered and my question was who are you and most of you gave me labels like I am a woman I'm beautiful or that's an adjective um, or I am human I am victorious I am you know um, a doctor lawyer teacher all those things you gave me those those labels that's exactly what they are labels they are labels they are roles that we all play in life but before we got those roles before we became a wife before we became what we thought was a woman what worry what were we really? Ugh, did you hear my mouth? Um, so, I'm trying to get you to the answer to the original self. What were you originally? Without all the crap, without all the answers or the dictations of other people. So, from your parents, you said, oh, your parents would say when you got old enough that you would be a doctor or a lawyer or you're going to karate school or you're going to ballet school or you're going to learn the piano all those things what were you before before you went to church and you found out that you could be a minister a preacher a doctor um, not a doctor but a minister a preacher or a bishop an elder a deaconess before you did all of that what was your original self simple so now we think, we sit back and we think, what are we really? What am I? People ask me who I am. I don't even describe myself with a name. I say I am a fun-loving, adventurous, spirit-filled individual who loves life and wants to love others. All it comes down to is basically who you are and who you know you are. So for some of us, it could be the higher self. For some others, it could be God. We are, before everything was poured into us, the only thing that was involved with us was the breath of the higher power or God the breath of him so meaning we are one with him and he is one with us I'm always got one earring on. I don't know what, what the problem is but we have to know that he's not up and above in the sky all around he is basically in us but yet he's everywhere as soon as we realize that our feelings as much as that tree out there and when we touch the tree, we are one with that. As much as the air that we breathe, we are one with that. As much as we are one with other people, as soon as we figure that out, that we're not better than the next person, we are that next person, as soon as we figure that out, more so instead of figuring it out, as soon as we feel that, as soon as we feel the dirt under, under the ground, is equiv equivalent to us because that's where we came from we came from the dust of the ground as soon as we start respecting the trees the air the dirt other people that's when we really find the original self of who we are because we will find happiness outside or should I say inside and all the other labels that we put ourselves as human that's a label that's what we are exterior we can't be happy 
unless inside is happy first. Now, why do I say that? Because before you got all of those labels, you were so excited to be you. Now, you're bogged down with being a parent. Not that you don't like it. You're bogged down with being a parent. You're bogged down with being a husband or a wife. You're bogged down with being a teacher. You're bogged down with a job as being a clerical or a lawyer or a doctor. You're bogged down with those things. And you have no time to be happy. And you're always searching. Searching and searching and searching. Therefore, that's how I know happiness has to be in here first because how can you give something if you don't have it so knowing your original self I'm going to give you a task to do I want you this very great exercise that I learned from my mentor my and I teach this to everyone I want you to take a mirror and I need you to get a big tall mirror big tall body body length mirror and I want you to take off your shirt, to take off your bra, your pants, whatever, whatever you have on, and be, stand in front of the mirror, stalk naked. Remove your makeup, remove your eyelashes, remove whatever you have to, remove it, anything that has to do with the dressing of the Christmas tree, which we are Christmas tree, you know? Take it all off, and then look at yourself and really think and look and ask the question who am I when you ask that question deeply and sincerely you will find the answer see you next time